Um, on, um, uh, we're, we're debating Bill C-65 and in particular an amendment put forward at second reading by my colleague uh, from St. Albert Edmonton. And I don't know that there's been much discussion of the amendment in particular, so I do want to review. Uh, the amendment proposes that the House decline to give second reading uh, to Bill C-65, an act to amend the Elections Canada Act, as the bill delays the next federal election uh, so that more departing members of Parliament can collect taxpayer-funded pensions, a measure that is particularly offensive at a time when Canadians are struggling due to the NDP Liberal government's inflation, carbon tax and housing costs. A, a wise and thoughtful amendment uh, from my colleague from uh, St. Albert Edmonton, uh, which I am pleased to support and uh, looking forward to discussing. Madam Speaker, um, by way of context about the state of the country right now after nine years of this NDP uh, Liberal government, I, uh, I was reflecting today, uh, two of my children are in Ottawa as well, uh, Gianna and Phineas, and it's great to have them here. Uh, and I was reflecting on some of the conversations that uh, I sometimes have with my children uh, when I ask them to do a, a task. Now, now, my children are very responsible 99% of the time, but sometimes it comes to pass uh, that a, a part of the house needs to be cleaned. And I tell them, uh, all right, guys, put the toys away. I need you to clean up this area of the house. And, uh, and I'll, uh, maybe I'll have a phone call from, uh, from someone or some work I have to do, and I'll come back an hour later, and nothing has changed, right? All the, all the toys are exactly where they were, or maybe it's even worse. And I say, guys, you, 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 what's going on here? You've got to clean this up. They say, we've, we've been working at this for a, an hour. And it's like, okay, but nothing has changed, right? Uh, as a parent, we want to look at not, not just the amount of time spent on an activity, but the results of the activity, whether, uh, whether uh, things have changed as a result of the efforts uh, that have been put in. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a good lesson for children uh, that they, their, their, their uh, activities will not be judged uh, just by the effort they put in, but by the results that they achieve. And if you don't learn that you're, you're, you, you will be judged by the results you produce, not by the efforts you put in, then you might grow up to become a liberal. Uh, the, the, the Liberals would like us to judge their activities over the last nine years not by, uh, not by the results, but by the amount of money they've spent, the amount of energies they've purportedly exerted on behalf of, uh, of certain outcomes. Uh, but Canadians are judging them on the results. After nine years of this NDP Liberal government, it is undeniable that the results are much worse. I think back to 2015 when I was first elected uh, as a member of parliament for Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan, the same year that we had a change in government. Uh, we had a, a conservative government of Stephen Harper prior to, to 2015, of course, and, and this prime minister came in in 2015, and he came in promising real change. That was, that was the slogan. Uh, the Liberals, in, in 2015, their slogan was real change, and in 2024, their slogan is boo-hoo, get over it. Um, it's, quite a, it's quite a change in, in, in nine years, quite a real change uh, that this country has, has experienced. In 2015, the Prime Minister said real change was coming, uh, and indeed real change is here. Uh, rents have doubled. Uh, the violent crime rate, which was going down, is now, uh, has, has gone and is continuing to be on the way back up. The national debt has more than doubled. Uh, people had concerns, uh, I recall these debates previously about the, the size of our national debt. Uh, it has more than doubled since 2015. Uh, we are now spending more uh, servicing the national debt than are, is transferred to the provinces in health care. And as this debt was escalating, the message we heard from the government was, don't worry, interest rates are low. Well, okay, but interest rates have not remained low. And as a result, uh, we are paying more and more in, uh, in debt servicing costs. So, so uh, debt is up, costs are up, inflation is up, crime is up, uh, and uh, Canadians are now looking at these results and they're, and they're judging the government, uh, not by their flashy slogans or, or by, their, by their professions of, of concern or by their promises to spend even more. Canadians are judging this government based on the results that are being achieved. And uh, 
it's amazing to hear these, these liberals talk as if, well, okay, we just have to talk in a different way. We have to explain what we're doing in a different way. Well, well no. Uh, the, the, after nine years, Canadians have seen what they've done and the results.